everybody, welcome back. Uh, you know that moment when you need to run to the store for like Ziploc bags and like certain little other things like tin foil, whatever, and you just walk by the magic card section and you buy magic cards. Well, that's what happened today. Um, didn't need this. I told myself I wasn't going to be buying any more of the regular bundles, but I did. So I got me a regular, I'm going to see if I can zoom out just a little bit, yeah. Got me a regular bundle for Bloomboro because they only have this one. And then I got a random collector booster for Bloomboro as well. Um, totally like impulse purchase, you know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open those together and see what we get. Um, I've been liking this set so far. We're going to do our first draft tonight, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, it's been a fun set to open. So we're going to go ahead and open that stuff today. I am going to make a giant apology right now because it is currently Friday, but I'm off work right now. So we are doing laundry and the ice machine's going. So you might hear some machinery in the background, but we're going to go ahead and start. I think we'll start with the bundle and we'll do the collector pack last. So let's go ahead and open that up. I know my friend really likes otters, so I'm probably going to see if he wants the artwork and the box. He's getting one too, though. So the artwork for this is the Runaway Together card. I might save that. And then the back is, like, all of the little creatures. I do like it when they put these art pieces in there. And then this is the box. has some otters playing in the water, and then it has Rao um, as an otter. And then... As always, they no longer do the black inside. It's the regular cardboard. My box is actually intact this time, though, so that's nice. I don't really, I as I said before, I'm not really a fan of how they started doing the packaging on these. Uh, this is the, uh, the die. I am happy to see that it is the bigger one. Um, I did buy an Assassin's Creed bundle, and it was like a tiny one, and I thought that was kind of cheap, so I'm glad to see that they put the bigger ones in there. And then we have all of our play booster packs. Make sure here. I also got the secret lair for Bloomboro, so I'll be um, I'll be doing that. There are nine packs here, and then we have the two other packs with the bundle rare and the lands. And then the inside carton has Rao as an otter, has some counters on it, and it has another otter in the back. So I'll probably save that because. I'll probably end up giving those to my friend because he really likes otters, so probably punch those out and give them to him. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start. I guess we'll start with the wax packages because these usually just have the lands in there. Um, I think in this one it gives you one of each, the lands or something. I don't know. We'll see. And then sometimes they give you the, um, the basic lands too. So, yeah, it looks like we got one, well... Unless there's another planes in the back. No. So it's, they gave us three of each, it looks like. So, or, yeah, three of each, but they're all different. So, and then the two here. So that would be the forts. And then this one, they aren't curled. Um, we'll see if the foils. Are usually they've been doing better about that with these wax packages so the bundle rare is thunder trap trainer he's an otter wizard and then it looks like we got foils of the lands oh okay so there are well oh yeah there are window why did they do that why did they do this like they gave one of each foil here and then just you know like no like why 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 because you can't even get these in the regular um packs whatever <laughs> one of these days they'll just give us give the people what they want right all right moving on to the packs we're gonna say that these are um does it say where they're made uh united states so these are u.s packs so that means the rare should be in the back of the pack All right, Polly Wallop, Run Away Together, Thistledown Players, Rofe Shed Duo, Early Winter, Hidden Grotto, Three Tree Mascot, Oak Hollow Village, Reptilian Recruiter, Fireglass Mentor, Shortbow, 
the Miss Breath Elder. This one's interesting. I did have this in my pre-release, and it, it's an interesting card. It, it does things. Then we got an island, a foil hidden grotto, and a steam path charger for our token. That was pack number one. Next pack. See if I can keep up opening these. All right. We got a sun shower druid, dazzling denial, banishing light, frilled spark shooter, starlit soothsayer, high stride, moonrise cleric, drift gloom coyote, bandit's talent, bright blade stoat. Bramble Guard Veteran. Season of Loss. So we got the Mythic. I am actually not sure if we got this one already in our other boxes that we did. I know there were some colors that we were missing, so I don't remember if we actually got this one or not. So I'm glad to get that. And then we got a Swamp. And we got Hop to It and the Tender Wild Guide token. And now my cat is coming out to say hi to everyone. Huh. Yeah. She's got to be involved. Oh, that one came open really weird and really easy. All right. So we got another Dazzling Denial, a Banishing Light, Frilled Sharpshooter, Starlit Soothsayer. Stop shaking the table. <laughs> High Stride, Heaps Harvest, Fountain Point Bell, Tangle Tumbler, Harnesser of Storms, Burrow Guard Mentor, Gale Wind Moose, and then our rare is Tender Wild Guide. Got a Forest, and we got a Psychic Whirl and Foil, and we got a signed art card. Oh, it's the Bunny Lieutenant, right? I don't know if he's a lieutenant, but I did get the Bunny in the raised foil in our other video, if you haven't watched that. There's a little spoiler for you. All right, moving on. Man, these ones are easy to open compared to some of the other ones that I've been doing. All right. Baker Spain Duo, Shore Up, Warren Elder, Sazza Caps Brew, Nocturnal Hunger, Three Tree Mascot, Tempest Angler. Oh, that's the other one that was on the, uh, I couldn't remember the name. Sugar Coat, Wandertail Mentor, Mudflat Village, Splash Lasher. We got Clement the Worrywart, a Plains, and Lilypad Village in foil. And I don't know. Oh, it's the coil. Yeah, I was going to say it's Coiling Rebirth for the art card. All right. This is pack number five. Another poly wallop, run away together. Interesting, I think, I think this pack has like some of the same cards as the other one, like in the same order too. It's funny how that happens. Pawn Prophet, Into the Flood Maw, Plume Creed Mentor, The Three Tree Scribe, Brazen Collector, and we got Murrah the Trash Tactician. Actually, you know, interestingly enough, I don't know if we actually got this one in our other packs, so. Got a foil swamp and a parting gust and a consecration mage token. All right. We got four packs left and then we have the collector booster. I'm going to go ahead and open that collector booster in this video as well. Another cash grab, bellowing crier, pleated provisioner. Oh, is that? Pill yeah. Raccoon rallier. The Assassin, the Scribe, another Angler, Wear Down, Hunter's Talent, Mabel's Metal, Shoreline Looter. Ooh, okay. Well, we um, didn't get this one. We got, we did get this card as part of um, this bundle already, but we didn't get this version of it. And actually, I'm happy to have this because, like I said, it's kind of an interesting card. I played with it before, and it does some things. Got a Plains. We got a Wax Wayne Witness. And then we got this cute little card with bunnies, which is Farseek. 
All right, three packs left. All right. We got Bellowing Crier, Pileated Provisioner, Raccoon Rallier. So we're seeing a lot of the same ones here. The Light Shell Duo, Veteran Guard Mouse, Teapot Slinger, Plum Creed Escort, Flowerfoot Swordmaster, Overprotect. We got Dower Port Mage, Frog Wizard, another Plains, and Agate Assault, and a Food Token. And I think these ones are only one sided on these, or at least most of them have been. Two packs that two packs left to go. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Tree Guard Duo, Pearl of Wisdom, Rabbit Response, Steam Path Charger. He's so cute. Scales of Shale, Nettle Guard, Cindering Cutthroat, Quake Tusk Boar. Curious Forager, Rabid Gnaw, Hired Claw is our rare. Went through that one really quick. Oh, we have to, oh, okay, I was gonna say, I feel like it's, I feel like it's like going fast, but I kind of spoiled that card there. But so we got Hired Claw is a first rare, and then we got a Mythic, which is the Elemental Elk. This one's so pretty. Um, does a lot of different stuff. Got a Swamp. And we got a third rare, which is the Coiling Rebirth in foil. So that pack had multiple rares. And we got a snail token, which I actually don't know if I've seen that one yet. So that's cool. Seemed like a pretty decent play booster pack. And let's finish it off here for the, the last play booster. And then we'll get into that collector pack. All right. So we got Bone, Bird or Bone Bind Orator, Tree Guard Duo. Pearl of Wisdom, Rabbit Response, Steam Path Charger. Again, a lot of these cards in the same order, I'm, I'm thinking. I wasn't really paying attention to the order, but I kind of have been noticing a little bit. Um, these cards feel interesting. Okay, we got a Fountain Port. We got an Island, and we got Mind Spiral and a Sword Token. So that was our bundle. Overall, we did okay. Got a couple mythics in that one. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the collector booster pack. I'm going to try to open this, break the seal here. I don't know if I can do it with my hands. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to jostle y'all. Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's like a better way to do this. I should have used, oh, here we, go. here we go, got it. So these packs come out like this. And then the inside's really pretty. Like they, the packaging on these is really nice. And then we got the collector booster inside. It is like kind of taped down. I think I'm just gonna open it like this, maybe. Have I ever cut a card? No. Um, I did bend a card one time, though. Um, I didn't look to see if these were Japanese or U.S. Um, have I ever bent a card? Yes. When I was taking a card out of a deck box, I did bend it, and I was really sad. Okay, so these are Japanese. This is a Japanese pack. I looked on the back of the box. So their rares are probably going to be in the front for this one. So we did get a food token. Oh. We did get a food token with the Consecration Mage on the back. Ooh, we got a Gilded Goose. I am excited to have that in foil. That's nice. We got Warren War Leader. So he's a mythic in the extended art. We got an Iridescent Vine Lasher. We got Arthur Marigold Knight Commander. We got Kista Otterball Elite for a mythic. Then we got the Forest. Bramble Guard Veteran. These are all going to be the commons and uncommons. So yeah, that was our pack. I mean, I feel like we got a decent, we got a couple mythics. Like, I mean, we got Kitsa here. We got this commander card. And then the Gilded Goose obviously is nice, and especially in the borderless foil. So yeah, overall, I think that was a pretty decent pack. 
I thank everybody for watching our video and we'll see you guys in the next one. It's probably going to be like a, the secret lair. We got the Monty Python secret lairs coming and we also got the Bloomborough secret lair. So hopefully we can upload those when we get them when they get here. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.